For some people, peak Star Wars looks like this. And for other people, it looks like this. Everyone has a different idea of their favorite Star Wars, and if you browse the Black Series wishlist subreddit, you see a huge range of characters across every Star Wars medium, and recently Hasbro has actually been doing a good job of checking off everyone's boxes, with releases from the prequels, the original trilogy, obscure comic characters, game characters, etc. In the last major Hasbro stream from May the 4th, people were generally really excited about the new reveals. We had prequel Yoda, Darth Sidious, Enoch and the Night Trooper, a new Darth Maul, but I found that the Enoch pack was the only one that I was excited to get. I already have the SH Figure Arts Darth Maul and I'm pretty happy with it. I think the SH Figure Arts Yoda looks a lot better, especially without the soft goods. So I started wondering what would I get excited about? I'm lucky enough to have some amazing customs from some really talented people. I like making my own figures sometimes, so I decided to make this video kind of examine in, like what my personal wish list would be. And some of these figures I do actually already have customs of, but you can't really mess around with customs the way that you can with real Black Series figures. And there's also certain figures like a retooled Obi-Wan and Anakin from Revenge of the Sith that I don't have on this list, even though those would be really exciting to get. So again, this is just my personal list. It's completely inconclusive, but uh, let's just jump right to it. So The Phantom Menace was like my first entrance into Star Wars, and one of my core memories is playing the Jedi Power Battles game game and Adi Galia was a part of that game. I would love to get all prequel Jedi eventually, but something about Adi Galia is just pretty iconic to me, I think, just because I had the toy as a kid. But speaking of prequel Jedi, I think Barriss Offee would be a really cool one to get as well, especially with her new arc on Tales of the Jedi. There's not a ton of like prequel female Jedi, and while we're at it, might as well throw in Luminara Unduli and like Shakti. I think this would all be really cool. I'd also love to see a Naboo pilot. This, again, is just something that was really special to me as a kid, having these figures. I love like all of the Naboo looks that we see in the movies. We don't have any like Phantom Menace army builders other than battle droids, so it would be fun to like build out this scene here with the Naboo soldiers, the pilots, and the captains. I think like Captain Panaka would be a really cool addition to the line as well. I do have a custom of him, but you can't really move it around too much. And I feel like this one, along with like the new Padme and Anakin that we got, would definitely be something that I kept on my desk. And we're sticking with the Phantom Menace for a little longer, but I do love building out scenes, and I think it would be really nice to get C-3PO. I have this diorama of Anakin's room that we did, and so that along with like the Tatooine Padme, I think would really complete that whole Tatooine section on the shelf. Actually, we would need one more, and that of course is Watto. I love figures of aliens in the Black Series, and I think a Watto figure would just be so fun to mess around with. We don't need Shmi, don't worry. But uh, it would also be cool to get Captain Tarpoles. I don't think we're ever gonna get like a Gungan warrior. And then I'm sure some people would do some 3D printing of Kadu, the little creatures that they ride. I also would love to see Zam Wessel along with like a new Django, but I think Zam would be such a fun figure to have. I love the Fennec Shand figure, like that assassin sniper type, and I think this would be a really nice addition. And just like such an action-based character instead of a lot of the other figures we get that don't really do much. And you need bad guys on the shelf in order for the good guys to fight, so I think having some Geonosian warriors would also be really cool. We have so many Jedi figures, we have most of the droids, actually all the droids from the Battle of Geonosis now, but yeah, just like like cool looking aliens that you can just buy like 20 of. Maybe, I don't know if I'd go that hard, but this just seems like so fun and I just don't know why Hasbro hasn't made a Geonosian yet. So the Commando Droid, I think, makes a lot of sense. We've seen it in Jedi Survivor, we've seen it in the new upcoming Star Wars Outlaws game. I think it's right around the corner, but just as it's been around for so long since Clone Wars, I think it's just about time we got that in the Black Series. Moving on to the original trilogy now, I think Bespin Leia is long overdue. It's one of the most iconic looks for Leia and one of the few original trilogy hero looks that we don't have have represented in the Black Series. I hope they don't do a soft goods for the cloak because I don't think that would translate well and you can't do any printing on it, but this is one that I have been wanting for a very long time. I'd also love to see Malakili for some reason or like just any of Jabba's denizens, like any of just those weird background aliens. I have a Jabba's palace display on my shelf and any like creatures that you can add to the line, especially aliens we haven't seen before, because you can use those heads for customs, make different troopers. There's just so much fun there in the aliens. I'd also love to see a greater variety of droids, especially since you can like repaint them in so many different colors. I, mean, I don't know why we haven't seen more protocol droids, but I'd love to see like the Death Star droid. And also in terms of like main iconic characters, I think Mon Mothma and Crix Maidine are two like very overdue characters in the Black Series. I understand that these probably would not sell that great 
rate. I think that like this Mon Mothma would have sold better than the Andor Mon Mothma, which ended up on clearance. You can even put her on your Rogue One shelf. I'd also love to see Captain Antilles. You can get away with probably a lot of reuse here, but I feel like he's the only character missing in terms of building out the Tan of Four. It was a pretty easy custom to do using Marvel Legends parts, but I guess Hasbro probably won't be doing that. I'd also love to see Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. I don't know why, I just like really love Tatooine scenes, and so a lot of my picks on this list have all come from Tatooine. These would be two very boring figures, but I feel like they're just needed on my little Tatooine section of my shelf. I'd also love to complete the Bespin scene with some Bespin guards, as well as maybe a Lobot. I just think like these designs are so cool, they're so 80s. And the best of my guards, definite army builders. Lobot, of course, you're just gonna get one and he really just doesn't do anything except stand there and look interesting. But I feel like we all remember the first time we saw Lobot and just having that little headpiece just really sparked our imagination. And last on the list is just a gonk droid. I don't know why this hasn't been packed in with another figure yet. It just seems like such an easy one. All you need is like one point of articulation at the top of the leg. But anyway, that's my list. That's, you know, it's just my personal list. Everyone's is gonna look different. I just thought it'd be fun to examine just mostly for myself like what would I actually get really excited to see revealed in the Black Series. I don't really expect to see any of these at the next uh, panel which is San Diego Comic Con and I'm sure all of your lists look very different. So please let me know in the comments below. Let's say like your top three most wanted. I would love to hear from you. Go participate in the Black Series wishlist subreddit because that is really effective and I've heard from a couple people at Hasbro that they reference that really often and I'm curious like what's more important to you guys when collecting? Do you like having new characters from shows as they air? Do you like kind of building out and completing scenes? I'm always interested in the psychology behind collecting and how everyone just has a different, you know, a different definition of Star Wars in their head and just a different method of collecting. Our collections are all just like a combination of our our own brains as well as just the experiences that we've had in our lives. But okay, I'm done rambling. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you all next time.